what was that other one you were mentioning? Let's see, what was it? <coughs> was it Terrapin? No, well, that's, you know, <laughs> that's deep, right? That's it's good. not really deep, it's just, uh, there's just a lot of parts to it. But really, it really breaks down into, there's like two, two complete songs. Uh -huh. uh, and and uh, one intermediate passage, a passing bridge kind of deal, and then a final grand theme. And that's really what there is. So there's like four parts to it. Which version would you suggest I listen to? Um, well, the record is stiff, but it, and it's fully orchestrated too. It has 90, 94 pages of score. You know, and you don't want to listen to that. It won't help. <laughs> it won't clarify. You want to listen to a live version of it. That's pretty, pretty definitive. But it's basically two songs. Let me see if I can. Let me show you. Uh, uh, you, you should listen to it for a while before I teach it to you because it'll make more sense if you hear it for a while. Oh yeah, here it is. It's on. It's on the seventh. Uh, Terrapin. Basically, two songs and four sections. Yeah, I mean, what's that? Yeah, yeah it's right here, it's here on the tank. Uh, From 33090. Yeah. Uh, Bob, you want to put this in place? Which one? We'll come into that one tomorrow. So yeah. let's put that on the back burner. Yeah. Put it, yeah, you can yeah. work on it. Well, th that one tomorrow, and uh, let me give you some more difficult stuff. It's it's tomorrow. It's that one there, Uncle John's three. Band, I guess you're going to have to learn that. That's got a lot of singing. It's a simple yeah. song, but a lot to sing. It's a simple song, but it's got a lot of singing. Yeah. Um. Come, come here, Uncle John's band. Right. Yeah, something like that. It's right. kinky, kinky little top harmony. Thing. It is strange. It's one of Phil's harmony parts. His, when he used to do the top parts, they were really odd. It's great because it, it, is uh, neat. it moves, uh, it doesn't all move in parallel. No. And everybody does a movement, but right. in an individual effort. Yeah, I stole the melody off of, or part of the melody from a Bulgarian women's choir record. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose they haven't called you up yet, have they? Well, it's so it's so obscure. <coughs> it's just one little phrase, actually, and it's just, I just loved the way it sounded. It sounded so cool, so I had to steal at least it, you know. So I didn't steal any of the rest of the song, just one little phrase. That's why we can't go to the book. You didn't copy any of their lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> I was never able to figure them out. <laughs> Now, Bob, you don't eat AC, he said, right? Don't, don't, eat, don't eat AC. Now, that's not possible. Do you understand that? Right? No, it's a uh, miraculous new device. But, uh, hold on now. Don't freak out. It needs no AC. Don't freak out. It's going to be okay. This needs no AC. Remind yourself that. No one is ever heard of these steady reminding myself. What is it, a passive choke of some kind? I, I think there's something illegal about this setup right now. I'm not sure what it is. Bob? Well, Malcolm Patrick can put an outfit on here. I think we ought to erase all the brand names on it or spray paint over them and then use it as an exhibit in a science fair and see if anybody can figure out what it's for. You're in the top one, sir. I mean, Bob. Mm -hmm. What's this switchback here do? Wah, wah. That's the rebob switch. Bob's mad at me because he got. Turn it up when he gets the rebob bam, man. Bob's mad at me because I cigarette loaded him out. Uh oh. You'll notice this. Look at this. You'll notice his surly temperament today. Because he ran up against my stomach. Is that right? Boom. Bop, bop, ba doom, doom, bop. Did this work? Did this fight? Yeah. 
on our China cat. So, I, uh, let me try changing it. It's basically uh, simple. Yeah, but I, I couldn't tell for sure which version one and which key. There's three different keys, so I'm just going to wait to get to Okay, the yeah, let me try changing it. We do it in G. Uh, G. Okay, try it now. The first part is in G, and then it, it has its key change in the middle yeah. of it. Um, and then you do it back to back with. Then we uh, go back to G. Uh, we, yeah, then we add on. And, uh, it ends up in D. Why do you do Because it has the thing where it goes to the five chord in the instrumental. The thing is yeah. mixer back here. And then we go to in D. We go to I know you writer, which is basically just a folk song, a real easy one. It goes. What's it called? I know you writer. Okay, so that's yeah. it's like that would be on the same chart, right? Yeah. This is this is a nice this thing is. It works. I love that, that part. That spiritual. 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 <coughs> now, uh, let's see. Uh, He's gone. He's gone. I've got a general idea, but I didn't want to etch it in yeah. pen yet. Boy, when I first heard it, I thought, shit, this is going to be an all-night sucker. And yeah. then when I got through the first page, and there's really nothing much yet to it. Yeah, it started to repeat. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I, I thought this is going to be one of those. Nah, he's got it. It's easy. It's dreams. Just easy. <laughs> this is an easy one. We don't really have any that are like that. Uh, Terrapin is the closest we have to where, mm -hmm. there, really, where there really is a lot. Yeah. Well, I'll get that eventually. Yeah. I, I had a Todd chart. I, Fourteen pages long, with vocals. I guess it's done. I, I wish it would come out sooner, but it's not going to come out till next year. Oh, geez, I'd like to hear that. Yeah, it's some of it's. I like some of the songs, uh -huh. and others are it's Broadway musicals. Pieces, which you're into that. <laughs> Strange. The first time I heard it, I thought I'm going to be deeply embarrassed. You know, <laughs> deeply this, embarrassed. This song in front of people, you know, but. Uh, after I learned the song, it was more fun to play. Yeah. Than uh, it was to listen. <laughs> play it than listen. <laughs> but the people loved it when they did it. I guess they, they just love anything he does. So I guess so. At a small scale. I, mean, I don't think he even draws as well as the tubes. He used to be doing that. He's got about the same folks keep coming around. Yeah. But a couple of the songs are really great. Probably some of the best keyboards I've played on an album. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, I got a lot more keyboard action than I could normally on a tubes. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> yeah. I always play my best stuff on other people's records anyway. I don't know. I can't seem to get off on our own records. I don't know what it is. I just never played very very well. Okay, you know, but. Oh, I mean, you you you. Great. <laughs> Especially on your, your, I mean, you don't like the way you play on your songs? Eh, no, nah, not really. I tend to, to, to be offhand about them, you know what I mean? I just say, ah, it's good enough, you know. I, I can't drive myself worth a shit. But when I do somebody else's sessions or something, I don't know, I feel compelled to hit it harder, you know, or something. Uh -huh. I don't know what it is exactly. I haven't quite figured it out. Of course, when I do play stuff that I do, <laughs> when I think I did real good at, like, Nobody else get eh, fucking boring, you know. Oh, oh might be. Yeah, anyway, I don't know what you might, you know. I think we got 
that against somebody else. Did you do that? Okay. <laughs> Did you go out with the memes? Supposed to be four versions of this. Oh, uh, big numbers one. Yeah. No, pick up the Arkham Arkham Asylum. Man. Go to the bookstore, pick it up. It's Batman. Mm -hmm. And it's a guy like this. Alan Moore. This is the Alan Moore guy that did the Good Joker. Right. This guy can write these. I love the way he comes to it. Clear. Yeah. It's what we need. Well, these are good. Yeah. No, I gotta get you. Uh, I gotta. I keep meaning to bring it in. I got it at home. Right. Even down Thanks to a lot. Food. Do you have time to do that? Or do you want to? I mean, yeah. do you want to do it? Yeah. I feel like um, you guys need to reach out more. Because I know, I was telling my reason to play it. Um, Chris Hayes from Mary Lewis. Yeah. White came in. Four green garbage bags. That's mm -hmm. me. I well, had brown bags. smaller bag though. Oh, you got the pound business. Huh? Our bags well. aren't so big. You know, we there are we do have them. I mean, well, she's not the accountant. She only takes from the accountant. Yeah, uh, well, that's you need somebody to go between. Actually. Yeah. You know, the accountant himself. You don't ever want to see them. They, but they're boring I hate people. Them. You know? Well, I don't <laughs> hate them. They're all people. I've you know? never been done right by an accountant. <laughs> I'm telling you, you love Mark Eichstadt. You got to get somebody cool. good. I don't. I hate. To see, I have. Is this Mark good? Mark Eichstadt is an angel. He's got a really good sense of humor. He's really low key. He's he's like Funny normal. He's amazing. not like an accountant. Yeah, well, I, well, I've, I've got a guy who's really a great accountant, and he's also a lawyer. He's oh yeah. Uh, yeah, That's you know, I've had him for like 16, 17 years, and he's never fucked me up. In fact, I get refunds. Yeah. See now, uh, that's what yeah, I, I want. Like yeah. I really don't like Uncle up. Sam's. Not my yeah. favorite yeah. guy. I get refunds. Yeah. Our people get refunds. I know. <laughs> so I overpay. Yeah. So I actually pay more than I need Why, to. Why do you want to do? You have a no, but I oh. thought because Bobby's you had refund to go was more than what I made last thing. year. I don't have yeah, to go I there until three or three thirty, and so it's early now. Oh, so I just missed up you going to the the dead office. Yeah, I haven't been there yet to see Patricia. So does she know you? I'm not supposed. Not I'm not late, late until three. Oh. I, I'm a miracle. I drove like 80 miles an hour back to Petaluma today, and I and everyone was looking at me like, "Why are you driving?" No insurance, so <laughs> you guys have car insurance? Not on that rental. Well, what are we rich or something? God, you get the the, the <laughs> I just drive is almost half again with the the rental car. Is. Oh, this is Lori. This yeah. is Bob. I met him out in the lobby. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't like do a good job with that. That's okay, Mimi. We know what you do a good job at. Yay. You got me for it. So, um, we just went to that great place, the Panama. We sat oh, out yeah. under a tree. Yeah. The Panama Hotel? Yeah. Oh, yeah, good spot. I've never been there. One of the Santa Fe's nicer it's little really deals. It's really cute. It's yeah. real low key. It's nice. Yeah, it's really yeah. Nice. Yeah, It's kind of cute. It's like a cuckoo clock kind of scene. They have like chili peppers hanging in the trees and stuff. It's one of the few places where you can get a room that's got like a brass bed <laughs> and you know a bowl, you know, mm -hmm. you can wash your face. Yeah, and a fan. And you know, flowers. Key to the uh, the uh, door at night. Yeah, yeah. right. You gotta come through yeah. the restaurant. Yeah, yeah. yeah the restaurant probably looks kind of like animated and stuff. So, well, don't let me stop you from. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're slaving away here at the cold pits. Is that your baby picture? Yeah, oh, this is my, my number one son when he was seven months old. Oh. Big guy, too. Yeah, he's a <laughs> Yeah, he's, he's scary. 
Well, David Helmer, I don't know exactly how he works, but he's good. He costs he some. You know. Is he deductible? I have no <laughs> idea. I haven't got the slightest idea. I don't know how that shit works. You know. I'm sure it is. Well, I'm really remote from it, so I don't know. But I'm sure we can find somebody good. You know. Well, I've been on a lifelong quest of never paying taxes, so, you know. Oh, lots of luck. <laughs> had the gang, every time he shot one of them off, a duck would drop out. <laughs> You're kidding. Yeah, every time. Sometimes they were huge. Yeah. Sometimes they have like to get a guy ten feet long, but sometimes they're just little ducks. But always feathers of ducks would drop every time he shot. <laughs> Great stuff. Let's do the trigger. He's going. Mm -hmm. 